Hey, here we are. The Pulse of Brattleboro is at the Marina, a plunge for charity. I think it's the eighth annual. What is it, Joe? Eighth. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, we got it. We got the man right here. He's going to tell us all about some of this shindigs and tell us what he's got on here. Uh, you probably you probably all know him uh, right up the road here uh, from WTSA. He's our very own Ian Kelly. He, Ian. How's it going? It's going great, Daryl. We're having a blast. How about the weather today compared to last year? Perfect. Hey, we lucked out. We, we lucked out. We certainly did. We are literally one red hot chili. It's a chili pepper, Daryl. I, I got it now. I know. Right. It, was, it took me, you know, I was sitting there. I'm kind of staring oh, at you for you the thought, costume, nothing else. You, you know that, right? You thought Vienna sausage is what you I said. I was thinking breakfast. I just woke up. I was trying to figure out, but then chili Western pepper, omelet. I love it. And then it was the DeSenko Mayo <laughs> thing. Right. I got it now. Okay. I'm a little slow in the morning. That's all right. That's all right. You'll rally, though. I am. I'm That's ready to rally. That's what we love, Daryl. So listen, Ian, you've been doing the plunge for quite some time now, and I, I, you know, the first off, I love this event because it's just a couple people came up with some idea, let's go jump, and then they said let's raise money, and it raises a lot of money for a lot of really good charities. So we gotta thank her. Uh, there she why. is, right here. That's why I'm speaking of speaking of the person who started this all, right, all off, we're giving you some big senorita. kudos. Here's a senorita. A key. So, a dear Joe. So, Deirdre, we were, we were just talking about how we love this event because, you know, a couple people came up with an idea. We're going to jump in the water. Hey, let's do it and make some money. You've been doing it for a lot of good charities, some that really need it. I know uh, you did mine uh, a few years ago, the Heat Fund, and it was a wonderful thing. Um, this year, it's Living Memorial Snow Sports, Inc., another one of the things that I love because it means so much to the community. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, first off, Go back on the history of the plunge, how we started it, okay? It, and then talk about this year's. It, it was, uh, I started working here. I moved down from Londonderry. I was going through a divorce, whatever. Uh, Maria and I heard that Maria and uh, Mike class's birthdays were May 1st, and they had jumped in the water. So the following, I was talking to her about it, and then I was like, you know, we could do this, and we can make some money. And so the next year was our first year, and we did it for the gathering place there was 10 of us that jumped we raised $1,900 and right now eight years later we're up to 60 jumpers and from what I understand um, we're already at $4,000 right now and it hasn't even really started yet so yeah, it'll go up because uh, it, it means a lot to me I grew up on that mountain my brother grew up on that mountain uh, my son learned to ski on that mountain mountain hill whatever and for five bucks for five bucks, five bucks. and i'm do right and i'm trying to bucks. think of how much it was when i was there but it wasn't much more i mean it, it was, was like yeah piece. so um they need a new cable and they need some stuff and uh this is one of my you know i love this I, yeah. this is my passion i love doing this um it makes me happy yeah and that you know and i'm glad you said that because you know people say that stuff to me how come you do what you do you know and i do it because it does doesn't it feel so good to be able to good do good and help the community that you live in i i, I love it and that's why i support this so much because um here it is a couple people doing something no money all the proceeds from this event go to whoever it is that d picks out as the charity of choice and that's the way it works here and now we're in our eighth year we've done eight charities matter of fact i remember the first one you did do the gathering place was just so happy yeah because you just picked up a phone and said hey right. you guys we're jumping right. we need well deb bunker was key in that um and we bought all new um chairs tables and umbrellas for the gathering place on their deck yeah. and the people were ecstatic that and, got there. and for the heat fund we raised just over 10 grand that year yeah. and because it was in may we pre-bought our fuel and it made our money go a lot further and um it was a great thing so listen remember the plunge the marina plunge for charity uh you'll have to wait for next year now folks because this isn't going to be live but look for it next year come on out i'm sure we'll have another good cause next year and uh deirdre thanks so much for everything yeah. you do anyway because this isn't the only thing you do as a person who goes on a few of these interviews i'm interviewing you quite a bit because we'll we'll see you again in the winter i'm sure yeah. oh yeah well i'm you know i, I gave up the uh, christmas breakfast but i will i'm gonna be there and working well, it and helping them i no. i'm again it's going back to the slate family yeah. And Charlie Slate is the one that started the breakfast. Yes, did, yeah. So they wanted, I did it, I said I was going to do it at five, I did it eight, yeah. seven, or whatever. Um, we will all still be there the first year to make sure it goes smoothly. 
Um, but I'm ready to stay home Christmas morning yes. and have a Bloody Mary and open my there presents. There you go. Enjoy so. yourself. Oh, and you have, your son, I think, is jumping again for you, he, right? He is. I can't jump, doctor's orders, but um, I might dip my toe in, and he's going to jump. Yeah, you so. dip, you're the, don't you dip the toe to let us know how. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Deirdre. And uh, again, folks, Deirdre Baker. Uh, what did I call you the first time? No, I did that right. Deirdre Baker, uh, the founder and the one who runs this Punch for Charity, which is just a great event. Thank you very much, great. Deirdre. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. What did you say? Just a smidgen that way, yeah. I don't know. That, that, is this good? Yeah. That's really good. Karen, right you jumping in? Are you ready? Karen, are you jumping in? Are you kidding me? Chicken. Chicken. All right. Well, we're standing here with a long time um, doer. This is a doer with Women Memorial Snow Sports Inc. Uh, I think Ray was there for, right from the beginning. We got Ray Blow. Uh, Ray, uh, how long have you been involved with this? Uh, probably better than 15 years, or 15, 17 years, something of that sort. Wow, it's a time comes by fast. I remember when we first started, well, you guys started first doing this thing. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons why I think we got it started at one point, the select board was thinking about getting rid of this thing. Oh, they, they shut it down in 95, and it took us two years to start raising money, then had to do a bunch of rewiring, put in snow making, bought a groomer, and done a lot of stuff since that. So. Yeah, a Actually, lot. Ray, tell them and how it's, long you've really been involved with this thing. Since I was a little kid. Since yeah. you grew up. Oh, right I, across I grew the up street. right across from Royal Park on Gilbert Street. So, so you probably ski there. Oh, yeah, you ski. Know. And it's just one of them things that. You know, when you when you grow, I mean, for a town of this size to have that there, it's amazing. And whenever you go there on a on a day, you guys are open, sure. and you look out in the parking lot and you see those uh, cars from New York, Massachusetts. They can't believe what we got. Oh yeah, and it's it's real Five cheap. Bucks. It's real cheap. It's one of the cheapest places in the whole country, and it's fun. You, we've got night skiing a couple nights a week, Thursdays and Fridays. You know, three to nine both days, and then Saturday and Sunday, then a bunch of other days. You know, as vacations come up and. This year we're open 57 days, and it was just a blast. And we got, we made snow. We had a lot of people help out, a lot of new volunteers, and people. And Mount Snow's come down. I think four years they've been teaching ski lessons, and they're free lessons for an hour and a half. All they do is buy a lift ticket for the day, and it's, it teaches kids and adults how to ski and board. And it's been real great. That's unbelievable. Now, um, and you can't do it without the endless amount of volunteers you have. I know uh, we were talking about how, when, you know, making snow and how much time you put in. And I mean, there's a lot of people that volunteer to make this happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, on any given night, we'd probably have almost 20 people helping make snow to help set up, do different shifts through the night and tear down at the end of the day. And one, one spell, we made um, snow four out of five days in a row. And, you know, people did a lot of hours and but it was worth it. And then we got a warm spell, lost a little snow, put a little more down, and it just kept going, so it was good. Thanks an awful lot, Ray, for everything you do, man, and I'm glad we got that baby here. Yeah, I'm Thanks for your help, too. Come here, Linda. That's for I, I see a nurse's uniform out here, and I figured you were just coming in after work, which I was right. Yes. And, 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 they let me out of work early. But you say you're jumping. Yes, I am. Now, what made you decide that this is that's, this was worth plunging? Because because I think Memorial Park is very underrated, and I think I feel very strongly that my kids learned to ski there, they skated there. I think that it wasn't used for a while. It made me very sad, and if I'm going to be a part of Brattleboro and put my money into something, that's where I wanted to go. I got to say, one of the things I'm proud about when I first got into um, on the select board. I was one of the reasons that thing did get started back up again because I fought like crazy. That was something we could not lose because it would never come back. And one of the first things I did when I went to the legislature was got 25 grand um, to keep that baby going and do the snow. So, and it means a lot to a lot of people. Matter of fact, I got to get my cameraman out here in a bit too for an interview to because he started skiing there. Yeah, Martha learned to ski there, went down that hill like a shot. And I just think, you know, there's so many charities going on. This is for Brattleboro. And if I'm going to. I've been here 50 years this year. I've been in the hospital 50 years this year. Wow. So that's why I'm jumping. Good. Well, thank you so much for doing it. And that's what we got, dedication. That's all it takes. Thanks. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a first. Okay, the guy behind the camera of all these shows is now in front of the camera. And we are with the, my cameraman, Joe. Joe, 
uh, you really wanted to say something about uh, the park because, um, well, just say it. Well, I grew up. I grew up uh, learning how to ski on Louis Memorial Park in the mid '60s. So, uh, yeah, I think I am. Uh, I learned how to ski on that hill, and uh, as my friends, any of them who watch this, can tell you, we had a lot of fun on that hill uh, back when Mrs. Uh, Bernice Pond was the. Uh, emperor of the hill or whatever as it were and uh, we spent a lot of nights and days there and uh, had a lot of fun uh, I won my first skiing competition in the junior downhill Olympics there back when I was Four. 12, 12 <laughs> probably and uh, had a lot of fun forever there so uh, it's definitely a resource of this town that is well worth saving now I know Joey did a lot of snowboarding pretty good at it did he do any of it there yeah, I think he snowboarded there a little bit. Not so much. He was by that time he was going to Maple Valley, yeah, well, which is yeah, another yeah. shame that it's closed. Yeah. Although that's on its We're on its trying. way to resurrecting itself. But uh, uh, yeah, he he did uh, some there, and uh, you know we'd always go uh, sliding there and everything. But definitely well, that's the hill. The other thing is sliding. Is that you, you can remember out of years when we go sliding there when we were, yeah, we were there late, you know? late, late at night yeah, right, right. when you weren't really weren't supposed yeah, to be, yeah. but we were quiet and we had fun. It was a blast. That hill represents Brattleboro, Brattleboro Vermont in such a way it's unbelievable. Brattleboro. That and the ski jumping. I mean, we got some, some very unique things here that you cannot lose, and this is one of them. So I'm thankful for all the volunteers that have done stuff and uh, keep this thing running. Thanks for your support. Yep. See you soon. Let's get them jumping. <laughs> uh, a couple years ago, the Plunge for Charity helped right here. Our dive and rescue team here in Brattleboro raised about, I think, about another $10,000. Um, so these guys could get new equipment. And um, they come and they support the plunge every year. We have the Brattleboro dive team right here making sure everybody is safe when they uh, do their plunge. My biggest fear of jumping is never how cold the water is. It's if my heart is going to take it. <laughs> so I'm glad they're there. Okay, Yonjo, here we are with Lucas. This is uh, Deirdre's son, and he has stepped up to the plate over the last couple of years, and he's one of our plungers. And uh, Lucas, how come you plunge? I plunge because, you know, since my mom had cancer, she can't plunge. And so I think it's only fair that someone has to do it in her family. So. <laughs> I well, I don't know if that's a fair thing or if, yeah, like you just said, you're keeping it in the family spirit. That's a good thing. And you know something, Lucas? I'll tell you, you're 15. We just found out. And that's a good thing to already be aware of what it means to give back to your community. And I'm sure having Deirdre as your mom, you get it, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. We'll get the, we'll get the Can I have everyone's okay. attention, please? Here we go. Thanks, Welcome. man. And here it is. It's radar. And our annual charity plunge. Can I have all... Everyone that's going to be jumping. If you could all get into groups of six, that would be helpful. I want to go if last. not, we'll just put you on the boat. But if you want to jump with your friends, that's great. Six people to a boat, and I need to see everyone. I'm, I'm in, but I want to go last. Right now. You want to go last? Okay, I'm not sure how many of you go. I'll just, I'll just go last. Just go I'll right get you on there. I'll get on. Well, no, you don't. I don't want to be first. I want to be last. I want to be first. To save her. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will be, uh, there's a special a few of us that will be on the first boat. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. We have 60 jumpers this year. Yay! Um, the most we've ever had is like 40. So this is just huge. Um, it's dear to my heart. Uh, I grew up on that hill. Not a mountain, it's a hill. We all know that. Um, and 
um, it, it, it's a, just a passion for me and something I love to do. It, there, and there's no other reason. Um, to raise money for people that need it is, uh, God, it just makes your health, heart swell. <laughs> um, so we're going to get the first boat going. I just want to say that um, I, am jump, I am jumping in honor of two dear friends of mine. Um, as everybody knows, I've been battling cancer. Um, Deb Madden, who passed away this year, who jumped with me every year. And uh, to a dear friend of mine who's going through it at the moment, which is Cindy Buscat. So um, I just want everyone to have a great time and enjoy. And my son Lucas is jumping for me because I can't. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody. We're already up to $4,000. Uh, like I said, I can't say anymore. This thing is dear to me. So. Um, you got to get somebody has have to take this out of my hand because I really love this bullhorn. Yeah, well, somebody take it. Okay, Thank you. Don't, don't give it to me. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Ian's here, Lucas, Ray, Calvin. We need boat two, people on boat two. We need Molly, Ruby, Riley, Mycroft. And Zach is here. Those about to be on. Okay.
That was the best form, yeah. Penguins on the side. Great new addition. And next up is Ruby and Molly. Double trouble. The cold water might stunt your growth there, Molly. I'm not sure. And now Riley and Mycroft. Everybody's 
Wow, you got them written down, but that's all right. First name? Danielle. I love that name. Sarah. Kira. And what made you decide to jump? Because it seemed like it would be fun. <laughs> was it fun? Yeah. Was it cold? It was cold at first, yes. Yep. It's better now, though. <laughs> right now, though. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good to know because i got to do it next. <laughs> it's coming up. Now, um, did you lose your breath when you jumped off? No. You did? Oh, then the water wasn't as cold as I always lose my breath. No, that's All right, you're going to do it again like next it. year? Yeah. All right, thanks, girls. Thanks an awful lot. There we go. Now we got our next boat getting ready to go.
there still. Oh, and you, and you haven't done it before? No. no. Joe, I think your idea about speeding them how to, up. How to ruin a bad boat ride, a nice boat ride with a dump in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be bad today, though. I'm getting no, a little warm. It's a little closer and it's warm, yeah. <laughs> what number is this? Seven. We're not eight, we're nine. We gotta move back. Wow, that was one of the biggest splashes yet. She got the ball, that was great. Yeah, well, you haven't gone yet, Daryl. Cannonball. That's true. Cannonball, Ashley. Cannonball. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> yeah, you can go again if you want to. <laughs> She's kind of pink. Before I jump, I'm going to make an announcement. You can make the same thing. Round of applause, everybody! Cut it out, but I don't want to. That'll just bring them to BCT. That'll bring them to BCT. Yeah, They'll figure the option. I don't want to. Go push your gun
thinking, would you rather do that or stay here? Yeah, why don't you just stay? And cold. That's what we like. Okay, so we just we just did our plunge. Here we are. Here we are with Peggy. And Peggy, this was your first year. What'd you think of that? It was great. Yeah, it was good. It wasn't it was bad. It was a little cold when you first hit, but it's warm as when you get up, isn't it? It was. I mean, I'm not cold. You cold? I'm not cold. No. No, we did good. You're gonna do it again next year? I will. All right. Good. Thanks for doing this this year. No problem. Take care, Peggy. So hey, uh, this these dry suits that these guys are wearing are some of the uh, 
Um, this is where some of the funds went to uh, the Air Punch for charity when they were the recipient on these new dry suits, which look really nice, to be honest with you. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, the DUIs, they're all set up for has hazardous materials if you ever need to. It's set up for so it protects us in the water. Hazardous materials too? In the water? Yeah, in the water, yeah. These are yeah. designed for that. Yeah. And, did we, and did you get the tanks and everything too? Or just I know, the tanks are all ours. Uh, we pretty much take care of uh, the tanks are ours, the, all our regulators, our gauges are all ours. Yours personal? Yeah, personal, our own personal gear. Yes. So you guys got to fill this thing up on your own then after this gig? Yeah, we actually we have a compressor at the fire station that fills the tanks. It also does our SCBA also for the fire department. Same compressor. Excellent. Well, thanks for what you guys do, not only for the plunge of chair for charity, but... Um, outside in our community okay um so you guys well who are we with jason davis and jason uh today i guess you were the big dog huh that's it <laughs> the other half of the crew's out at a fire right now oh is there a fire going on over in hinsdale yeah, yeah. wow oh okay well but well we heard that it's been very dry so you know in brattleboro remember no permits till we have some rain that's right um Talk a little bit about what you guys did today. I mean, you're always here for the plunge. We can't do it actually without you guys here for safety reasons. Um, how'd you guys get hooked up into this? We got hooked up into it several years ago. Um, just happened to hear about it and asked if they wanted our assistance and they said they'd, they'd love to have us. You know, and with the cold water, it affects the body pretty quick. So it's good to have somebody in there if somebody gets in trouble and needs a little assistance. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, and it gets to show what you guys have to, I mean, usually when you guys are out doing something, you don't have spectators. <laughs> so at least Not here easy. they can actually see what's going on and, you know, the boat. I mean, I, I think that's kind of good. Shows what we got. Right, right. Take a look at our equipment. Yep. Yep, this boat here is, oh, probably four or five years old now. It was bought through a grant from Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. Replaced an old boat we had. And then a couple of years ago, you guys were actually one of the recipients of the Plunge for Charity. Yes, we were. Oh, probably four years ago. Yep. Yep. Well, very good. Hey, again, thanks for helping us do this and making this a, su a successful event. And uh, thanks for what you guys do. Thanks. I appreciate it. So there it is. It's another Plunge for Charity. And this year, Living Memorial Park, Snow Sports, Inc. And the last count I had was they had almost $10,000 raised. And that's with the t-shirts, hats, and people plunging. So that is just amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like we had nine, nine boats, six people do a boat. We had about, oh, that's around 60 people. Our boat only had four. Uh, I know my math is a little off. Joe's already shaking his head. <laughs> hey, well, we only had five on one, so, you know. That's right. This is not the math show. This is the Pulse of Brattleboro where we give you the pulse of what's going on right here in town. And today at the marina, it was the plunge for charity. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a great event. And we hope you enjoy it. We had 52, the official count, 52 people jumped in the water today. So anyway, for all those you that gave money and donated, we thank you very much. If you can, hey, hey, come here for just a minute. C come here. Can I put her on for a second? What's your first, what's your first name? Zoe. Zoe. I, you did the plunge, didn't you? Did you mm. jump off a boat? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of that? It was fun. Was it fun? What would you think? How was the water? Not that cold. Yeah, you were like the bravest one there. You jumped in. You wanted to stay in for a while. I jumped in. I couldn't wait to get out. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you for plunging. Do you know why you did it? No. No? It was for charity. Oh. <laughs> you know? So we thank you for doing it, okay? And now, can I get you to do one more thing? Look right at that camera and say, watch the Pulse of Brattleboro. Say, watch the Pulse of Brattleboro. Watch the Pulse of Brattleboro. On BCTV. On BCTV. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, folks. Uh, as you see, we had young and old jumping. It was um, quite a thing. And um, we'll see you next year right here at the Marina Plunge for Charity. So along with my cameraman Joe, this is Daryl saying so long, thanks for watching.